God bless you, my viewers all around the world. I bring you greetings in the name of Jesus. And uh, I want to continue with my teaching on angels. You know, I've been talking about the ministry of angels. God has given us or has assigned angels for ministration for the people of God, for the kingdom of God, and for the people of God. You know, a lot of times when we talk about angels, we just think of some, you know, some funny beings. Some people now are thinking aliens are angels, or angels are aliens. No, God has a department, a unit. I call them the, the special forces of God, you know, called the angels of God. They carry out special operations, they are different types, you know, we have the cherubim, the seraphims, angels, angel of the Lord, we have the watchers. So these angels, they do great things for God, on behalf of God, on earth and in heaven. You know, the angels were the ones that kicked the devil out of heaven. When he messed up, the angels, Angel Michael and his, his army kicked him out and sent him on earth here yeah, and, uh, you know, to be, to be, to be bound. So, so, so angels carry out operations for the Almighty God. And as children of God, when you are a believer, when you're born again, when you've accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, angels can help you and God uses them for great things. So we just celebrated Easter. Angels were primarily involved in the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. When Jesus died, angels came when he was buried and rose again angels were the ones that blasted the the, the 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 rock because there was a rock that blocked his grave and the bible says in matthew chapter 27 that the, the romans had sealed the rock and stamped it with a roman stamp that nobody should go there this is a crime saying no one should trespass here but the angel two angels came from heaven removed the rock and jesus resurrected and came out of the grave when you read your Bible very well, you'll find out that the disciples came and met two angels sitting in the, in the tomb where Jesus was buried. So angels were involved in resurrection of the Lord Jesus. Now, in the, in the case of national issues, angels are involved in national issues. God Almighty gets involved in national issues. It's not just the politicians, not just the military, not just uh, the, the senators or the legislatives the House of Rep or Parliament that gets involved in national issues. God gets involved in national issues. I'm telling you something, people of God, if you read your Bible, you'll realize that angels were involved in regime changes. They took out leaders who were notorious and dictators and uh, leaders that were, were against the things of God. When a leader is against the thing, will of God or attacking the, the children of God, he sends an angel to kick them out. You find angels involved in Sodom and Gomorrah when uh, it, that was a national issue. God sent angels there to, to, uh, to resolve that nation. And then Egypt, God sent angels to set the children of Israelites free from bondage. That was an angel's operation. You know, but uh, I want to focus on one very nice, unique story here in the book of Isaiah chapter 36 um, from verse 37. You know, in, in Isaiah 36 and chapter 37, there was a king called the king of Assyria. You know, this king came against Israelites, the children of uh, Israel, uh, Jerusalem. And uh, King Hezekiah was, he was a king then. And Assy the Assyrian king called King Sennacherib sent his chief of army staff to go threaten the Israelites. And when he got there, he threatened them I said, hey, we're coming to take over your land. We're coming to invade your land. We're coming to destroy you. You must surrender. Don't think about worshiping any God. You are trusting your God, God of heaven. We are going to embarrass you, embarrass your God, and put a shame to the name of the Lord. You know, and uh, King Hezekiah wept and told his prophet. His prophet prayed for him and said, don't worry. God is going to intervene. And lo and behold, if you read Isaiah chapter 37, the Bible says, On a fateful day, the angel of the Lord came down from heaven and killed 187,000 soldiers of Assyria. The next day, the king of Assyria woke up. 
Let's bless my army. Let's go invade Israel and destroy Jerusalem. His soldiers were dead. Chief of army staff was dead. His army special forces they were all dead. And Senachari ran away to Nineveh where his son killed him. <laughs> and, and there was a regime change. You know, so God sends angels to carry out national issues and resolve issues when, they are, when there's a problem. You know, Hezekiah was free. The children of Israelites were free from the bondage of the Assyrians because an angel intervened. In the case of uh, New Testament, there was a king called King Herod who was appointed by uh, the Roman government to, to be in charge of uh, Israel, you know, to, after, after the death of Christ. You know, this King Herod was very mean. He was killing people, putting disciples in jail and all that. And God was angry. God did not kill him until he came out and said he was God. Herod, in the book of Acts chapter, you know, the uh, Acts chapter 12, from verse 23, the Bible says that, that King Herod claimed that he was God, that people should worship him. That's when God got angry. And the Lord said, no, 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 this cannot continue. What did God do? He sent an angel. The angel of the Lord brought down this Herod. In fact, Herod started rot, his body started getting rotten. He started dying while still alive. He was getting rotten. Maggots were coming out of his body in the book of Acts chapter 12. And he perished and died. Then another king came and took over. And there was peace in the land. The Bible says that the word of God grew and multiplied and increased. So when God's children come under attack, a lot of times, angels, God dispatches angels to help them. That's why many times, witches and wizards don't have the authority to afflict or attack men of God or women of God. If you're a man of God or a woman of God, in line with God, you will be attacked by the enemy. But I tell you something, the angel of God will intervene for you in the name of Jesus. You know, I have encountered some things and that's why I'm boldly saying it out because I know the operations of God's angels. One time the, a, a wizard was attacking me, you know, using witchcraft. And I did not know how to do this, you know. So I prayed and, you know, it, it didn't stop. So I went to tell another man of God, you know, uh, the redeemed church of God, the, the overhead leader, Adeboye. I, I went to greet him. And I didn't even tell him my problems. I just told him, I need to talk to you, sir. He just said, don't worry, God bless you. I said, sir, you have to listen. He said, I said, God bless you, bye-bye. <laughs> that was it. But what happened on that fateful day? That wizard died, perished. And the end of affliction, attack, and all those nonsense stopped. I was shocked because I didn't even know that this was the person responsible for this evil. But God sent an angel to intervene. I'm telling you, God's people, God has angels assigned for nations in America, Asia, all over the world, Africa. God has his angels watching. I pray that the, the angels of the Lord over your nation will be with you. And when you pray, ask God to let the, the angels of God protect the nations. There are wars everywhere, fightings everywhere, but God in his infinite mercy will have mercy and keep us all safe in the name of Jesus. Oh, the last next week I will speak lastly about the angels of God. I pray you stay tuned and be blessed and stay connected in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.